Hello everyone. You are welcome to Fuku Mathematics. And in this video, we'll be providing the solution to x over 2 multiplied by x over 2 equals 2 over x. Okay, so let's begin with this. 1, okay, from here we have x times x, which will give us x squared over 4, and that is equal to 2 over x. Okay, we are to cross multiply as well, so we have x times x squared, that will be x to the power of 3, and is equal to 4 times 2 is now 8. Okay, remember we are directed to solve this completely, so we have x to the power of 3, that is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, the powers are the same. If we equate the basis, we'll have one solution. So, let's bring this to the left. So, we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now, the next thing I will do is to apply difference of two cubes. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is the same thing as a minus b, okay, into a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so if this is the case, then my a minus b will now be x minus 2. x minus 2, then a squared, that will be x squared plus ab, that would be x, x times 2, that would be 2x, then plus, we have b squared, that would be 2 squared now, right? And then everything is equal to 0. x minus 2 is a factor, then x squared plus 2x plus 4 is another factor, so we equate this to 0. Now, we are multiplying these two to get zero, right? Sometimes, um, students don't know when to apply this rule. If you have a times b equals zero, then it is either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. But if you have a plus b equals zero, you cannot say that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. It will not work, right? So, we don't apply zero product rule for this because this is not product. You apply it for this. So, doing the same, x minus 2 is either 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to pick this first. Okay, so if I pick this, x will be 0 plus 2. Then our x is equal to 2. This is a solution. Okay, but then we want more solutions. So let's go to this quadratic equation. And it is x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Now, how do we solve this? We are going to use this formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, this formula here is called quadratic general formula. Okay, so this is um, general formula because it can solve um, every problem on quadratic equation. So now, our x will be, we need to know our b, b is the coefficient of x, and that is 2. So we'll have minus 2, plus or minus, square root of the same b, so b is still 2, so I have 2 squared, minus 4, times, what is a? a is the coefficient of x squared, and that is 1, times c c is a coefficient of okay the constant which is 4 
c is a constant, so we multiply by 4. Then we divide by 2 times 1, because a is 1. Now our x will be minus 2, plus or minus square root of 4, minus 16. I want to believe you know how I got that. 2 squared is 4, then 4 times 1 times 4 is 16, and we divide by 2. Do not make this mistake. Okay, do not make the mistake I'm about to show you. Okay, some students will find the square root of 4, then find the square root of 16 before subtracting. That will not be correct. So you have to have 4 minus 16, which is minus 12. Then you cannot find the square root of your minus 12. Okay, I will continue on the other side. Okay, so we have x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 12 over 2. Now, I want to pick out the negative from 12, right? If I do that, x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 times square root of negative 1. Okay, so everything is still divided by 2. So if I go ahead, my x will now be minus 2 plus or minus 12 here is the same as 4 times 3. We want to simplify that. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. Everything is divided by 2. Now, x from here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 4 here is a perfect square, and square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1 is i. Right? So we are dividing this by 2. Again, let me rearrange this. x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. 2 times i is 2i. Then we have root 3. Okay, so we have root 3 over 2, right? Let's continue. So our x from here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. By the way, this 2 is applicable to both this and this. So we can divide this by 2 plus or minus 2i root 3 over 2 as well. So our x will now be... 2 will take this out, we have minus 1, plus or minus, 2 will take this out, we have i root 3. This is a 2 in 1 solution, right? Let's get the 3 solutions together. The first, we got x1 to be equal to 2, then our x2, x2 is obtained from here, that is minus 1, plus i root 3, then our x3, is minus 1 minus i root 3. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.